at Northampton Community College for the paintings and uh, drawings of Don Voisin. And Don hails from Brooklyn, and his work is being shown right now through the New Arts Program out of Kutztown. So we're in Bethlehem right now for uh, the college because it's a three-part exhibit that um, is taking place here at Northampton Community College. This piece is called Karoo. It was done in 2004. It's 18 by 52 inches. Reading Area Community College, which also is going, which also is having an exhibit of his work. We'll take a look at that as well. This is called Pete Number One, or Pete Mondrian. This one's called Return Mail. Now, this is an untitled piece from 1996. This is Oil on Linen. I like how he uh, overlaps these areas, sometimes with the barest amount of paint, so that the mere overlapping of them creates a geometry. This piece here is called Harvest. This is 1997 to 1998. This is also oil on linen. As I said previously in the uh, paintings that I had seen over at the uh, Reading Area Community College, these works play a lot of dark upon dark, somewhat in the same way that Joseph Albers did. But they're so uh, subtle, they're enjoyable in their quietude. This piece is called Fall from 1992. I'm going to take this one from an angle because I actually can catch my own reflection in it. It's called Slow Match. This is 2005. It's a foil on wood. Another oil on wood. This is called American Splendor. This is from 2006. It's 59 inches across, 24 inches high. And they're working on the other side here with something. This is an untitled piece from 2002. This is also oil on wood, 11 inches high and 45 inches across. called Blue Horizon Affair. This is also from 2002. Small, small piece, about 10 inches square. Untitled. See the subtleties, it, I can catch the glare off of them a little bit. And this piece is from 2006 called Spring Line, 12 inches by 50 inches. called Another Morning from 2005. It's right at the front door. Okay. This is the North Hampton Community College uh, version of Don Wazin paintings. And I'm Ron Shira.
black shape, uh, you know, decided on when I start, although there's adjustments made. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, then the color, uh, which is important in setting the overall mood and encountering the effect of like this big dark plane. Uh, you know, I don't want them to be uh, dark and somber. I, uh, um, I try to counter the sort of expectation of, you know, those, those readings. Um, <coughs> So what what is the center black thing about for you? What is that? We almost all of them have the black. Um, mm -hmm. It's about creating a, a space, a visual space, and in, in the painting, it's, it's uh, you know a place where you, the viewer, um, you can uh, um, it can be whatever you want it to be. I'm open to the associations that people make. I'm not you know like. I'm not going to tell people how to respond, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, you know everything together plays a part. You know, you you wouldn't you wouldn't get the sense of space that I'm creating without the covered bands or the 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 off white areas that it sits in or on, uh, and the color is very subjective. It's, you know, uh, to me, it's like the most expressive part. Um, um, and sometimes it takes me a long time to find that color, and I have, you know, uh, I could be looking around at anything for that inspiration. Uh, uh, there was a painting I was stuck on, I couldn't find a color for weeks and weeks, and then one day on the highway I saw this little copper-colored Mini Cooper that was whizzing by, and I was like, oh, that's it. So those kinds of things, you know, out of <coughs> observations from the, you know, outside world, uh, do inform my work. Um, the, um, the some of the relation my relation.